Alrighty, guys, good evening. Hope you guys are in a wonderful fry set. Good evening. Mm -hmm. My name is actually 123. Unrelated to Ben or Sam. Look at you with your narrow mindedness. <laughs> oh. King and King. What are yours? No, you can't steal mine. I have my coffee made. I was actually just going to go get it. I don't have it quite yet. I have a problem right now with a low flow application where it seems like it's not using the right amount of water. I have to devise a way of, I think, in make, making it so it turns on and off with more moxie instead of kind of dribbling. Which is what it's... I need a different float arm. Pretty much King 123. Yep. Good evening, guys. Alrighty, let's get to her. Let's get her to her. Get my coffee, guys. We're back, and then we'll get into the tubes. Uh, all the AMD, not the NVIDIA, not the NVIDIA, the AMD updates. Good. You know what? I, I can teach you a trick about your OCD. You want to see it? A simple trick that anyone can do. I can make this a YouTube video, by the way. A simple trick that anyone can do because they have OCD. Want to see it? I know you do, Hyper. Take a look at this. Watch this. What did I just do? What did I do, guys? Build my desktop. Hmm? Slain, you've been here for a while. You don't get to talk. You don't get to talk. You don't get to give away all my secrets. This is why we have levels to my pyramid scheme in which you gain access to my knowledge. You didn't even pay for your level. You're not even a fucking, not even a sub. 
You didn't even pay for your fucking level. <laughs> but they aren't. It's all in your mind. It's all in your mind. They aren't actually here. Nope. Did you know this exists? This kind of blows my mind. I don't think most people know this actually exists. Yeah. I did this for a while because some people used to get triggered about it. And... Yeah. Oh, it bugs you. <laughs> it bugs you because you know they're still there. <laughs> Virtual desktop would have been another good guess, though. That would also been another good guess, but that's also not it. Ah... Uh. Donate to me? I know, donate to me. Mm hmm. Uh. Windows tab which opens another desktop? No. Uh, I don't I don't think I have virtual desktops enabled. Actually, I think they're just enabled by default, aren't they? I don't use them at all. I don't like the idea of virtual desktops. I'd rather just have more shit open and be able to see it than hide it behind a virtual desktop. More windows. Edit. Wait, the fuck? <laughs> this is my window. This is my desktop folder. <laughs> this is all this in a folder. What the fuck is that shit? Yeah. You never know. You might have to go back to an older version of NVIDIA drivers. They aren't shortcuts, they're actually installers, please. Yeah, they do. There's a lot of NVIDIA drive I'd say like a quarter of my uh a quarter of my shortcuts are NVIDIA installers on the right side there. Um A lot of these probably get rid of I mentioned before, I probably could make a utilities folder and get rid of a lot of these. Most of them are tweaks and utilities. Yeah, I'm not doing that. It's probably going to turn in some sort of feature that's going to explode my computer. I have enough problems with an exploding computer right now. I don't need more. I don't need more things to do that. And sorry, guys. People are trying to get my attention, as is the case always with uh, me streaming. The moment I start streaming, people are like, oh, let's talk to Bentham. What a great idea. And I'm like, uh, okay, I guess it's that time of the night. Um... Anyways, so right now I have a water application where I'm using small amounts of water. Uh, let's see. Put 
problem is it turns on and off relatively frequently and kind of dribbles. And as such, it leads to a lot of cases where uh, I don't think my water measurement is correct. And as such, I need think I need to have a float with a wider range on it. So it doesn't turn on and off as often, and when it does, it fills up more. I don't know what I'm looking for. Well, there are some AMD drivers. I mean, I have uh, Ryzen, so the chipset drivers here too. You are correct. It does say AMD on it, but these are NVIDIA drivers, and these are AMD drivers. I know, the taboo, the combination of multiple different things. And I also have an Intel NIC. My motherboard has an Intel NIC, I believe. <laughs> yep. Well, that's my that's the PCIe card. Uh, Realtek controller, but it has an Intel wireless NIC and a Realtek Realtek gigabit controller built in. Yeah. So I was looking for ways that would turn on and off less frequently and basically fill up more. Or I'd have to consider something like a pressure tank that would pressurize the float. Uh, so the pressure tank would fill up and then it'd shut off. Which probably is a better option, but it would require more stuff to buy. More things. This float valve. I think so with the longer the longer arm, that means it turns off less, turns on and off less. Because it requires more uh, a decrease in tank, tank level more in order to turn it on. No, you're talking about penises, Slane. A virtual desktop? Yeah. Uh, this is for a water tank. And right now, the one I have turns on and off frequently. And I needed to turn on and off less with a wider range. So it needs to go down more before it turns on and then fills up more. I don't know what that'd be called. There might be even be a name for them. The stuff like this where it starts having like an actuator or a pivot on it. This kind of isn't even... So it moves more. not shut off. That's not good. Send her back. They need to send you two, huh? Do I have well? No, it's with an application where it turns on and off frequently, which is causing uh, the meters not to read correctly. Leaky toilet. Only it leaks a lot. Evaporative Cooler Valve Kit. Compression fitting, don't want that.
leaks into a storage tank. So it does turn on and off. It's not overflowing or anything. It does work. Just the meter reading doesn't seem to be correct. Turbo series. Long tail. It's not a toilet, no. <laughs> uh was looking at earlier tonight. Notice the actuator on it. It requires a larger range before it turns on. Ah, 30 pack. I don't need a 30 pack. I feel good. I feel great. I f I am number one. <laughs> yeah, when you can tell something was made in China. Yeah, I I guess that's marketing right there for you. That's Chinese marketing. But if it does what it does and it does it well, I'm not against it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, adjustable angle. Apparently. Adjustment range. Like it needs to wait a while before it turns on. That's the problem right now. And then when it turns on, it turns on for a while instead of turning off and on constantly. Maybe this. Mega trough, mega flow.
like specialty things. Joby Vales. <laughs> Thanks, Joby. Okay. Mega flow. Yeah, AliExpress, uh, I mean, you can get some really good deals. It's basically factory direct in China. You can get some really good deals on there, but you are throwing away basically buyer protection because being able to send shit back to AliExpress basically is non-existent, so... Holy shit, when they... When they go one step further beyond the f mega flow to the vortex, guys. Oh my god, the vortex series even further beyond to 600 liters a minute. Oh, here we go. Uh, do they have a differential that isn't like an E3? Industrial application. I bet these are super expensive. When you start getting into industrial stuff like this, it gets really expensive. Ah, you guys want to watch a YouTube video? Vortex Differential is a high flow reservoir valve for water storage tanks incorporating fully adjustable water level settings between on and off. Vortex Differential is mounted at the top of the tank and is easily fixed into a female threaded tank inlet. As the tank empties, the weighted float travels down the cord and weight is transferred to the bottom stop to activate the valve. Once on, the valve will run continuously until the tank is full. The weighted float rises, then contacts with the float stop which lifts the arm to shut the valve off. Intermittent pump running does not occur at any stage of filling because Vortex Differential is full flow in operation. Your pump runs unrestricted until the tank is full. Motherfucker, that's what I need, but I don't need a $300 valve. That's exactly what I need. Where it has a wide range and you get to set basically the low point and the high point where it stops. Right now where you have like a float in like your toilet, it automatically just turns on when it drops. Because your toilet drops a lot, right? This isn't for a toilet, by the way. But with normal floats, they'll just go down a little bit. They'll turn on, go down, and up, up, up. Like one of these things, right? And it causes turbulence on top of it and can cause water hammer and shit like that. Stuff I'm not interested in. That's exactly what I want. Uh, Rojo part fill. $30. This looks like a cheaper version of that. You have a donation activate? Yeah, no one donates though. So in most streams people don't Project donate anymore, they just do subscriptions valve and donate subscribers. In rainwater harvesting tanks. The purpose of the float valve is to automatically maintain a low level of water in the tank during periods of no or low rainfall. This allows service fed by the tank to continue while leaving capacity in the tank for refilling by the next rain. The valve is installed through the side wall of the storage tank. It should be mounted above the overflow level of the tank to prevent backflow. As the tank empties, the weighted float travels down the cord and sits on the bottom stop to activate the valve. Boop. The valve will run until the weighted float lifts clear of the bottom stop. The float will then rise as rainwater fills the tank and falls as the tank water is used. 
The valve will only function at times when rainfall is insufficient to maintain a water level in the tank above the bottom stop. The use of a flow restrictor before the valve will not cause the valve to malfunction. Hmm. That's basically what I need too, but it's $130. That's better. That's better. Uh, let's see. Low flow, uh, float valve. Jabby. Low flow, large flow, float. Low pressure, large flow, float. Something like what you can see in a toilet might even work too, but I don't have a toilet. It's not, it doesn't function this way. Like it has an inlet on the side here and it needs to go up and down like that. for toilets. Now we're in the toilet section. This is what the this is what the flow control valve in your toilet looks like by the way. Some of them other ones have like the little ball and pivot thing too. It's all mount from the bottom because your water comes in from the bottom. Maybe we can... Fucking searching on uh, Amazon's always been terrible. Minus toilet. And it still shows the toilets. And all you remove... That, very helpful, by the way. Better. like the jobby guy not $130 I need a smaller one of these this is too big Most toilet floats are designed to fail. I click rainwater? No. Tis true. I mean, anything fails. It's a mechanical part, and it's used quite often, so it's eventually going to fail.
Uh, so I'm like stuck somewhere in between needing something like that and needing something like that. Might have even found the best option like the first one, this thing. Might even be the best option. I wasn't want the spring on it. That yeah, wasn't it. This is just their normal lineup. Huh. Oh. Thought that'd be cheaper, and apparently it's not. Topaz, right? Ah, there are these guys. Doby, Mega Flow. Transformer valve fits to an existing common float tank. Transformer mounted to the side of a tank and will transform the common low flow valve into a higher flow diaphragm valve. The transformer is a good choice where the supply hose has good flow and the common valve is restricting that flow. Simply adding the transformer valve allows the full potential of the hose to be released into the tank without drilling holes or complicated mountings. Simply screw the transformer valve into the top of the existing huh. valve, making sure the outlet faces into the... He uses the, the pressure differential the quick connect uh, in the normal the thing the as a gate, the so it turns on and off with the pressure Very difference. Quick connector, and the it's actually pretty cool. Hose ...is eliminated with the transformer's quick connection. Turn the water supply back on and see the improved flow with the Job transformer valve now in place. As the water pushes up on the float in the existing valve, it triggers the transformer to shut off. 
With the transformer valve, a high flow of water enters the tank, keeping the tank full in less time, allowing more animals to drink from the same tank with less stress and aggravation. Open your valves. This is for uh, uh like uh, farmers. Corrosive construction transformer valve. Feeding, uh, watering cattle and stuff. I can only imagine what kind of recommendations I'm going to get on YouTube now for videos, guys. <laughs> Mega flow trough valves are float operated valves used for automatic filling of water troughs and tanks. The valve is made for underwater mounting uh, in the side or straight in the bottom. Mega flow is a good choice where it's high flow, compact, robust, non corrosive construction. No, that's below water level. Topaz Doing homework with me, Chet. Are float valves for automatic filling of water troughs and tanks. The valve is made for above or below water mounting. Topaz trough valves are a good choice where they're high flow, compact, robust, non corrosive construction and high level of adaptability are needed. The Topaz valve has a lock off switch to lock it in the off position. Very helpful. The Topaz valve makes water level adjustment easy. The float connecting point has a series of interlocking grooves to positively locate the float at various angles. The valve is fitted to the trough by screwing it in hand tight. Here the arm has been attached so the water level can be set lower in the trough. The extension arm slides to give even more adjustment. The extension arm has a central float locating point to provide still more adjustment. With the Topaz valve, it's no problem getting just the water level you want. The float and arm operate a pilot valve which releases water pressure above the diaphragm. The pipeline pressure then pushes the diaphragm off its seat and water flows through the valve into the trough. The Topaz valve has the detach feature, ah! just a twist of the valve and it's off. This makes cleaning and valve seal quick and easy. Again, just a twist and the valve is back in position. In some situations, it's important to maintain an air gap between the valve outlet and the top edge of the trough to make sure that water can't siphon out of the trough back into the water supply. Using the extension arm provided with the slide extended, the Topaz will easily give up to 150 millimeters clearance from the top of the float to the valve outlet. I know if I buy some Chinese and stuff, it's going to break, and I'm going to have to buy something new. But... That I don't think is going to work. I think my current uh, pressure valve doesn't have a little long arm on it at all. 
Technically, it doesn't need a long arm, depending on how it actuates. These guys actually kind of give a shit about making flip fails. This is actually pretty ridiculous, guys. So this is a company, apparently, that just basically makes flip fails. And as you can tell, they actually kind of give enough of a shit to design a different product than everyone else's solve problems that people are encountering with using flip valves. I know it seems like it's just a flip valve, because it is, but at the same time, you can notice the differences between them and, like, basically everything else on Amazon, which is one of the reasons I clicked on it. So I think the further out it is from the point of actuation, the more, uh, the higher the water level you'll have, comparably. It has to travel more distance to raise, if you got a, imagine a degree here, right, on your arm, the amount of degrees is changing. If you look, if you're all the way over here, right? And you want to change 45 degrees, you go from this, which is way down here, to this, which is up here, right? That's like a... F in real life, that's like a foot of difference. Now, if the actuation point's right here, and you want to go from a 45 down here to up here to shut it off, that's only like 6 inches, right? So, there's definitely a relationship between how far away it is and basically how well it works, which I guess is what I'm looking for. And then, obviously, if you change the... the uh, you change the uh, mechanic, the the leverage point inside of it, too, which is why I was looking at this one. Not that one. That one also, but this one, where it's changing how it actuates the valve. That'll also, like a lever, it'll also change how fast or how often it'll turn on and off. He has extremely hairy arms, by the way. <laughs> like I've, I've never seen arms this hairy. But it, this is a float. So this is for mounting underwater, by the way. it comes with all this shit or this is like accessories you have to buy for it. It looks like it doesn't come with anything. Is he albino? No, he's probably like 50 or 60. Imagine getting old. Not everyone lives 
Not everyone lives in your... What was that movie called? Logan's Run. Not everyone lives in Logan's Run where everyone dies at 30. So, you know. Have I ever had a blue ball? You mean been blue balled? I think most guys have. That's just part of dating or being with women in general. You're eventually just going to end up that way. What's wrong with Salim? It was an old movie. It told the story, though, and I think what it told, it did a pretty good job of that. So, yeah, most most movies nowadays don't tell stories anymore. They literally just go from event to event to event, and like, oh my god, this is the end of the movie, climax, explosions on the screen, and then you're out of the theater. So, Rings of Power being a good example of that. Like, where there's a central idea and thing they're trying to convey in the story. Yep. Welcome to real life. Also, once again, why I think every guy should... When you turn 18, you should just be given a flash, a flashlight. Like, it should just be part... It should be part... Maybe the government should do this. Part of growing up as a guy is literally getting a sex toy when you turn 18. <laughs> I, know, I know that fucking sounds silly, but I think actually... I'm actually kind of curious what that would do to real life if that happened. Because there's a lot of guys, like... Most people are... You are shackled to your hormones. That's just the way life is because you're a fleshy human meat pig. You live inside... This body, this biological body, and you are beholden to a lot of things. You aren't completely logical all the time. You're beholden to emotions and what's happening oftentimes. And for guys, that oftentimes means the desire to procreate very young. And I don't think that's necessarily a good uh, direction. A good uh, motivator for people to uh, perform in life, to, be, to become better people in life. I don't think that's a good motivator. It was when we're struggling on the cusp of... Basically, the world exploding uh, because we have to basically procreate before we die in like 35 to like this, this stereo or whatever it's called. Uh, area. Dysentery. Yeah, dying in our 30s to dysentery because you drink poo water. Yeah, I don't think it matters. I think I, <laughs> women have a bunch of fucking sex toys. I was actually, when I was younger, that's probably one of the biggest mistakes when I was younger was not actually owning sex toys. Younger being 20s. Uh, I didn't have anything like that until my 30s. And that doesn't mean you have an anal vibrator or something. You can get, like, fleshlights, basically. I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's far-fetched. Most women have toys nowadays, so, uh Yeah, well, I mean, what does it matter? You can technically, uh, because they're made out of, like, silicone or whatever, you could technically melt them down with, like, gas or something and <laughs> set them on fire, like packing peanuts. Uh, silicone is, there's certain things that'll just melt it. Yeah, well, I mean, that is a compatibility thing, depending on what you're looking for in life. I mean, it's a job finding a mate or a, a person you want to be with. There's a lot of women that take that very seriously. So finding someone you want to have kids with who is financially stable and hopefully mo emotionally stable, but generally financially stable, so they have things provided for them, right? It's a job. But, I mean, women have toys all the time, so men should have toys too. And most men, I, I assume most men do not have toys. I think that's still a relatively new thing and prone to a lot of biases of guys assume they can't have toys or something. And hand is not nearly as good, regardless of what you think, it's not nearly as good as a flashlight. Once again, pretty pretty big difference between the two.
But anyways, uh, puts guys on a more level playing field. They wouldn't be uh, such puppies, I would say. Uh, sympathizers, can, since you can't say the four-letter word on Twitch anymore. Uh, they would be at less beholden to the fuckhole than if they had toys, just like women are. So, I honestly think a lot of guys should have toys and they don't. Once again, I <laughs> turn 18, you're, gi you're gifted a fleshlight by the government. <laughs> hmm. I am actually, I am very curious because, like, arguably, that's not really that expensive, right? A fleshlight's what, like 50 bucks if you buy a brand name one and you don't need a brand name one. I am actually very curious what would happen to society if that happened. Like, someone turns, a male turns 18 and is gifted a fleshlight. Just everyone gets one. So you can't really say, oh, I don't have one or I never had one, right? What happens if everyone just had one when they turn 18? What would happen? I mean, obviously guys fuck anything, so you would you would assume it would get used, right? Yeah, like government issued, put a fucking U.S. flag across <laughs> <laughs> Screaming Eagle. <laughs> but what happens if every guy had a fleshlight when he turns 18? That'd be kind of curious, right? That'd be very curious. Yeah, well, I mean, it's that's not. It's just a, a masturbation aid, as women have. It's not like a full... Like, even... Like, a, I wouldn't ever want a real doll in the first place, and I don't even think it would add that much. At the end of the day, you know it's not real, so it's no more real than a flashlight is. Xbox, I mean, that's a little bit different. Now you're getting past real dolls, real dolls being just like fucking big Barbies or whatever, right? And AI where it's actually doing something. You could totally do something with that too. But yeah, just like gift everyone, every male in the US that turns 18 is given a fleshlight. Just, just out of, just the government just hands them out to everyone. Like you could totally do it, by the way. And they're 18, so they're an adult and their parents, I mean, they still will probably take them away but their parents can't tell them they can't have it, right? Hmm. You could totally do that. I, maybe you should. What would happen? I, I don't... Like, it wouldn't do anything horrible, right? And it would immediately normalize the idea of having sex toys. It's like it's something no different. By the way, I think uh, uh, protection should be readily available to anyone that needs it as well. So contraceptives should be readily available to anyone that needs it, like condoms. Uh, like one of the worst things that for society is having like underage babies and shit like that. Like people that have babies when they're below 18 and they don't make informed decisions and just spit them out. Yeah, you don't want that shit. The condoms should just be handed out for free. As long with other things, that's even cheaper. For instance, people talk about insulin. That's even cheaper than insulin. And insulin should totally be provided by the government for people that need it because they have to stay alive. Um, because it's, it's actually pretty cheap. Like, there's certain things the government could do that are really fucking cheap and actually help a little lot in society, and they don't do it right now. Well, that's that's the whole thing. That's the whole reason I suggested that you know you should get every male should just get a flashlight when they turn 18 is because you're beholden or shackled to your, your hormones and what they're telling you to do. And once you get past that, then maybe you can move on with your life and do productive things outside of just trying to have kids, right? You're a slave to your hormones. Not everyone, but a lot of people. A lot of guys are. That's part of growing up as a guy. Just getting past that point. Hmm. As we're looking at float valves, by the way. Good discussion, guys. Good discussion. Uh, what is this one? So this one's pretty adjustable. It looks like you could make it to go up above the water level, too, so it's not really that big of a deal. This actually looks pretty good. Definitely Chinesium, but it looks like they engineered it well, which is why it doesn't matter. an adjustable angle. Normally you can screw these in further so they actually don't, like, you can screw it into the ball.
Holy not made in China. Velociraptor kill. He's just describing how to change the float. You know, loosen it up if it sticks. Back up. Please, someone's lifting it. It's not actually full. Come on now. This doesn't look like it turns on and off a lot. Like, it just slows down, right? That's not what I want. I want it to actually just turn on when it's low, and then immediately turn off when it gets high. They're Chinese, not, uh, not from Iran. Chinese love American dollars, so not really a conflict of interest there. They want our money and they want to part us with it, part us from it. So they make stuff that we want. And of course they need and want too. Kind of curious, this looks like it maybe dribbles. Float valves are float operated valves for automatic filling of water troughs and tanks. The Rojo can be mounted above or below the water level. It's a simple mechanically operated. The Rojo has a convenient inner float so it is attached directly to the valve. There is a check valve built into the inlet thread and when the Rojo valve is unscrewed for servicing, the check valve cuts off the water flow. That's actually really this nice. This can be done without turning off water supply at the pump, which saves time, water, and makes the job easier. Aha! That's nice! I like features. Yeah. That's the way life is. If a lower water level is needed, the float can be attached with this extension. The float can be fitted at various angles and heights using the range of extension arms, 25mm, 50mm, 75mm and 100mm arms are available. The Rojo Float Valve, a small valve that's big on features. So it needs to turn on and off more frequently. Let's see, or less frequently. Valve, it's no above the diaphragm. The pipeline pressure then pushes the diaphragm off its seat and water flows through the valve into the trough. The Topaz valve has the detach feature, just a twist of the valve and it's off and easy. Back in position, some situation to main lead and the top edge of the trough to make sure that water can't siphon out of the trough back into the water supply. Using the extension arm provided with the slide extended, the topaz will easily give up to 150 millimeters clearance from the top of the float to the valve outlet. Like, if you look at the video on this guy, though. It 
looks like it actually just slows down when it comes up to turn off. I don't want that. Hmm. Maybe not what I want. No videos? Oh, come on. Maybe I need a differential one. That's the one with the little chain, this guy, with the weight. It's called to desire land in our arm. It is engaged. Real body valves are used for water tap. The tank body valves are used for water tanks, water tower, water pool, irrigation, animal drinking, swimming pool, etc. When we start to supply water, the valve opens and the float rises until it hits the level adjuster. This lifts the arm and the valve shut down. As we discharge the water, the float travels down the cord until it hits the level stopper. The valve then opens immediately to give a full flow. Available sizes, one half inch, three quarters inch. That's like, that makes sense. That's what I'm looking for. But even this is, uh, it's too, too long. And also it looks like there might be, you, you're going to get sediment buildup on this wire. And it's probably going to fuck things up. The Watts Heavy Duty Cooler Valve is used for commercial and industrial air conditioning and refrigeration applications. Perfect for tight spaces and small tank applications, this heavy duty float valve features a bronze body for durability. They're only available in one size with 3 8 of an inch outlet by 1 8 inch inlet. The Buna in seals, adjustable brass arms, and a polyethylene float make this valve a reliable, long lasting option. The maximum pressure is 100 PSI, and the maximum flow rate is 1.5 gallons per minute.
This valve is either full on or full off, no drips. Other valves I've used start to slow down at the rate of fill as the float rises, which makes filling a 2200 gallon tank pond take forever. We got a winner. Once again, Jobby guys. Jobby! Jobby knows what the fuck they're doing about flow valves, guys. I gotta go watch my coffee cup of guys and take a piss. I'll be right back. Jobby! Don't use it in a fuel application, okay. They didn't do it slow enough, but in that other video, I'm pretty sure this trickles. This guy trickles. Well, this probably trickles too. This guy trickles off. So not that one. This also kind of looks like... This is for big tanks. This is not for what I'm doing. I think that big. This one also trickles off. Need to snap off. This probably also does it. Trickle. Yep. Expensive. This actually isn't that expensive. That's up there. This is the industrial one, though, which I might end eventually needing to get, but. Jobby! Hey, Casey. Industrial one? No. Compact's actually pretty cheap, too. Won't stop dripping.
What's the name of this guy? Product name for these guys? Hmm, it might not be the Topaz. Not got a half inch? They have to have a half inch. Oh, it doesn't matter to someone buying anyways. Jobby Rojo. Quarters. There's half. That's compact though. More expensive. The fuck? The fuck, man? The fuck you talking about? Fluff Elvin the car, Japanese make good stuff, yeah. I mean, a lot of companies make good stuff, even in the USA. That's uh, kind of went the way of the Dodo in favor of Min Maxine. I actually don't know what size flip valve I need. That's kind of funny. I'm pretty sure it's a half inch. Not that one. And tank. The Rojo is a good easier. A Rojo. Where do you buy the extensions? They talk about the extensions and they don't. Uh, it's probably an accessory you buy, isn't it? No! We can't watch the Rojo video, or the Arm Carrier Extension video, guys. Where the, the fuck's going on here? So, this guy. Oh, they have quarter inch, too. Not that I need quarter inch. You say there's a bunch of extensions? Where the fuck do you buy these? What we're just looking at. This one has an extension arm and it's cheaper. I guess maybe I could just drill out the hole for a three quarter inch. Pretty sure I need the extension arm so it, it's longer. She needs to be longer, guys. That's what she said. Oh, wait, what? How did I enter full screen by doing control F? Why is control F taking me full screen, guys? It's F11. with my hotkeys. It says it has a three inch arm. I race my time with other brands. Good question. And nothing to rust. There's a spring in here. 
It has to be stainless. I was looking at that earlier. That has to be a stainless spring. Unless Rojo's letting us down, guys. Rojo might be letting us down. That might not be stainless. And it's going to turn to rust, just like that screw. Anything metal comes into contact with water has to be stainless. Yeah, they aren't showing, showing the screw here. Or the arm. Rojo info. Mounting positions. Features. Options. Extension arm. Hundred hundred millimeter extension arm, ninety five millimeter float. Standard ones will be well, it's standard. Seventy five millimeters standard. Okay. Ah, the dildos. Wait, what? Like it comes with an arm, but I guess it does. Unless some asshole on Amazon ordered the cheap ones. It says three inch arm here though. Pressure rating. HF, I don't know what that means. Why would you want a water float? Spring bolts and nuts, 304 stainless. Got ya. Got ya, guys. You were worried, huh? Inner cartridge assembly, high flow. HF is high flow. An inch wide float.
standard. Up to 100 millimeters. However, I might not even need that. Low pressure model also available, 0 to 75 PSI. I mean, I could put a regulator on. I don't think it matters, though. A flat float? Why would you want a flat float? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so it's more level with the water? So it's more accurate? I assume any waves in the water would actually be worse. Half inches. I wonder how you even order the extension arms. Just an Amazon? <laughs> nope. Ah. Nope. Coat of arms. Joby coat of arms. <laughs> yeah, that's not... Not what I'm looking for. It's... You probably could contact the manufacturer and get it from them, and maybe they'll even send it to you. If they're nice, they'll send it to you. Like the 100 millimeter arm.
Robert Manufacturing. This looks like it would trickle too. There's a plunger to open a diaphragm in it, just like the other guy we saw. Pretty sure. Petco Supplies, what's selling this? Buy from them? Uh, Petco Supply again. I see. JV's 15. Guess it goes to show you guys if you're on Amazon, like it really doesn't matter what you expect your company to be, it's where you find a niche where you can make money. You're selling stuff that is. And maybe I should get a three quarter inch and then drill it out. It seems as though that'd be more robust. Pretty sure it's half inch right now.
don't know. It might actually be just as robust. It just looks different. I think it might just be the port. New Zealand. New Zealand valves, guys. Mmm. Mm hmm. Come see us in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Google. Uh, I'll get right on that, Javi. I'll get right on that, man. I'm surprised there isn't an easy way to get the extension arms. I mean, they're specified. You're supposed to order them with a certain code, but yeah. Like, if you order from the manufacturer, stuff like this is possible. But if you don't order from the manufacturer, this is kind of like the uh, chair ordering we did last year. Yeah, which I haven't tackled again because we had two failures, which is extremely expensive for me. Yeah, like you order with a chair code and then you just order from the manufacturer. But I guess maybe if you have a specialized application, it makes sense, but... For everyone else, every normal folk, that's not normally an option. Looks like we're already getting into the holiday shipping options here, guys. So we're already getting into the holiday bloat. So people are already ordering their presents for Christmas, which is why delivery dates even for prime shipping is like November 29th.
used 1325. Yes. Like literally, so warehouse deals, by the way, is usually used stock, and it goes down based on how long it's in stock until literally just it's nothing. Look at that. Because no one buys them. All right, enough of this, guys. Uh, I think we found a winner there. That took a while, guys. That was uh, something I had to work on anyways, so you guys just saved me some time. And uh, interesting talking points, because there isn't always stuff to look at on uh, cubes. So Let's upload and then move along. Mm -hmm. Ah, no signal output. I love that. 17th. Let's move on to some gamas, guys. And the reddits. E Where's my jobby? All right, that's taken care of. Let's see. Not to spam people, seventeenth. I swear guys, like I come here some days and there's views here, and then other days, like now, there's no views. And I'm not talking about like different videos. I'm talking like it, it adds views and then it removes views. Very weird. Pretty weird. Okay, let's take a look at the Reddits, guys.
And y'all drop some Overwatch, Overwatch 2 hot takes, really curious. Someone wants to farm karma? These posts are very common now, where basically they're asking for input, the opinion of the people that are, uh, <laughs> that are going to respond to it. And they don't actually do anything, so why, why did they get upvoted? I don't know. Because Mercy Boobas? Yes. Uh, Trish, there's no damage fall off. Under 20 meters. Off to play against? Yes, she is. We had her playing against Beyond Pharaoh the other day. She's like a soldier. Only does more damage. AMD Reddits. AMD R9 Fury X is the best unsupported graphics card you can buy in 2022. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now back in 2015, AMD launched the R9 Fury X, a $649 high-end graphics card that, had it not been for its built-in liquid cooler, would have been ideal in even the most compact of systems. This little beast was often compared with NVIDIA's 980 Ti as far as performance was concerned. I think the actual visual upgrades you get with FSR 2.1 are worth the performance sacrifices with cars like this for example cars that can still do a somewhat decent job it's a bit of a mixed bag to the channel if you haven't done so why is it the best unsupported i guess because it's unsupported being it's Uh, lacking driver support, I suppose? Why is 1500 X3D being sold out everywhere? Christmas. And it could be AMD's tapping down on production? Partial launch. Uh, rumor, this popped up again. Uh, the X3D might only have six or eight cores. That's fine. I don't care. I'll buy the eight core variant then if there's no 12 core variant. 
kind of doubt it though. Maybe, but I kind of doubt it. I mean, why wouldn't they want to sell a 12 core variant of the X3D? Okay, DVD Reddits. <laughs> huh? Ah, people are funny, guys. Uh, this might be controversial, but myself and three friends have been doing fail squads to give killers utmost satisfaction. You tell by the joy and satisfaction. This is like fucking, like, charity work. Rain on the parade. Sad when killers have been reduced to charity work and pity squads. People don't do this stuff constantly when they're having a tough time against them. Yep. Watch it first. No, I, I understand what they're trying to do. And I was commenting on their motivation for doing so. Like, all we're just going to do is watch them intentionally fuck up. So you're saying it's the opposite. They're just in, not unintentionally failing? Always watch for why well, it is so predictable. I don't need to watch it. That was the point. No, 
How about you watch it and then comment on me commenting? <laughs> and tell me whether or not my comment pertains to what I just watched. Like, my comment didn't change. There wasn't... The only possibility was this is sarcasm. This statement was sarcasm, and it just happened to be that they fucked up unintentionally. It maybe is kind of true. Okay. Uh, I think in either direction. Funds on how full of themselves survivors are. As with all sarcasm, there's a bit of interpretation. All right, guys, we're going to do some Overwatch. And as was happening last night, my computer was exploding, apparently. So uh, we're going to see whether or not uh, what I did last night actually made things better or not. Yikes. Take a uh, quick check for WIA errors. The errors are generally something particular to AMD. Nope, I haven't had anything since I fixed it. Alrighty. Uh, yep. Off we go, guys. How much I fucked up my game, guys? I agree. I'm gonna go wash my glasses off, guys. You're back.
Alrighty, guys. I don't want to join that. Oh. All right, well, you know. Mm hmm. I gotta change categories too. We didn't see him roll. And a headshot. Good. Oh. Triple hits, guys. Our Ash appears to be very accurate. She definitely looks like she's cheating. Good. First, it looked like his on, too. It didn't register. Sure, we got a cheater, guys. Mr. Ash toggled on. I was just gonna ult. Good thing I did it. Very, very certain the Ash is cheating. Just 
Yeah. Well, you just toggle off. What the fuck's going on now? He's missing and shit. Beautiful. She's gonna toggle again, so she toggled on and off. Notice how she's fucking missing shots now. We're not insta killing us. Yeah. Very certain Ash is cheating. You must have a spread. Maybe it's the Wi Fi. Maybe your mom's turning on the microwave and then turning it off and turning it on, and that causes her to miss all of her shots, right? It must be the microwave. Is that her ash? Yep, that is. That's her ash again, guys. Good. Yep. Uh huh. Get her? No. Oh, he was in the air! Dude, I thought he was on the corner. Unfortunately, the 3D audio in this game is only uh, horizontal. It's not a vertical plane. I have to do that, too. Oh, yep. Oh. Uh-huh. And then shot between the the pillars, so she toggled on again. Good. Because I jumped. So when she switched widow, she toggled again. Uh huh. 120 damage stuck to me. Good. Dude, that was nowhere fucking close to my character. It was right here, and I was over here, and it fucking latched onto me. The fuck is that shit? I fucking love the aimbot grenade. Much better than flashbang. There's actually some people, by the way, that think that it's better than Flashbang. It totally is not. Thanks, you literally can just fucking roll in and throw damage onto someone that's guaranteed 120 damage. Oh no! I should have punched! Punch would have and maybe would have killed her. Nope. Yeah, it would have actually. Actually, no, because I hit her with a rocket. Maybe because still punched her. There's the gross footsteps. She untoggle again? Kind of seems that way. You don't fucking say. Good. No. 
Good. Headshot. Uh Mm-hmm. Now she's missing all of her shots. Fuck off, bitch. Uh-huh. You angry? Fuck off. Yeah, that widow is 150% cheating, guys. Good shit. Uh, Cuckin with his level one account. Oh my god, it's me. Age one, beautiful, cheaty. Uh, mitigation, yeah, so damage reducing effects, shields, uh, armor, stuff. I don't even think there's armor in the game. Overhealing, I think, included in that. Usual. Mitigation in an MMO, for instance, is usually armor effects that reduce percentages of damage, shielding. Uh, but it's not things like overhealing, overhealing separate. In this game, mitigation is slightly different than it is in MMOs. Arriving at your like the green shield, I believe, is included as uh, mitigation. I don't know why they got rid of armor. I guess they're just trying to be different or some stupid shit. Very unfortunate. So we had a pretty good, good first game, even with the cheater. Getting a lot of shots there, guys. Good shit. The mission brief. This is such a misuse of my technology. Technology. Ah, yes. The 20 millimeter tracer that has no damage fall off. Cool. Oh yeah, was it a jump shot? It was a headshot too. Headshot. Headshot was a nana. I don't stay down. And then get in the run side. Oh, 
Good. That wasn't meant for me. That shot was not meant for me. Good. Good. Tried to get to the end, I guess. It's like they're no. I might be cheating. Do you just see people in there? I thought you had to do damage to people to see their health bar. Fuck, slam me down. Yeah, you can't see their health unless you hurt them. Maybe it's when they're hurt? Hey, buddy! My me! My me! Thank you, Reinhardt. What a nice guy. Thanks. Look at that. Although I was literally right in front of him, so... That does beg the question why they're continually going to the same side over and over and over again. That is the widow? Is that Yep. Huh? I don't stay down. On the move. Tracer. I did absolutely nothing. Oh, <laughs> oh, what the fuck? He was looking up before I ever came over the edge, guys. Good shit. Yeah, he's 100% cheating. That's, uh, not the Widow. That's the Tracer. He like came out the doorway looking at me before I ever started firing at him. Or near him. Hey, oh, the Pharaoh's up here! With the shield up. Jesus. 
legit. She's 100% cheating. This is a tracer, by the way. That guy's 100% cheating. It's like a hard lock to your chest. That's the widow. That guy might be semi legit thinking sound. Once again, there's no vertical audio. I don't know why our teammates are stuck at the old spawn, but yeah, that's not very useful. That is not useful. Because they're separated from the team, so they aren't really doing anything except helping themselves, and they're in the way of the cart, so... Shot through her on the first one, second one missed, third one also felt like shot through her. Uh, yeah, it depends on your class. Tracer's supposed to have damage drop off, and she doesn't right now, which is why she's so fucking annoying. Hey, we do a lot better when we're grouped up together. Uh, but Tracer's supposed to have damage fall off, and apparently it, it goes from, like... Uh, it's instant damage drop up to 20 meters, which is like 60 feet ish. Range. The only reason we can do that is because of that shield. We would have insta died otherwise. That's useful. There aren't that many symmetrics, so you can't really do that normally. There was a railgun in there, by the way, if you didn't hear that. We got railgunned, and then we got body tapped by the McCree. Which I would have been more interested to see the railgun. dead by sticky grenade or excuse me aimbot grenade not sticky grenade aimbot grenade you gotta call it what it is Defeat. <laughs> alrighty so we have our cheating tracer
Okay. Three was the soldier, or the widow. I don't even know. Like, some of the shots were on, some of them weren't, which looked rather normal. The soldier was definitely cheating, though. That was a tracer. Alright, stuck in spawn, which probably means cheating, maybe not. We got a Pharah, and apparently he sits on the ground. Hey, that wasn't a Pharah. The Pharah. Not exactly sure why she's sitting on the ground. Ah! Oh my god, I just hopped into that. Oh. She has a hard on for me, so if I keep, uh. eventually gonna hit me when I'm trying to dodge everything else in the game. Good. got their tank too. Good. They're literally fucking dead. Go to the point. Oh my god, you stupid horse. I don't want to talk about it. Dude. Aerial position. They just got time to respawn and go back to the point because our team didn't move forward. guys. Our horse sucks, guys. She's literally sitting literally inside of our team, guys, and no one's dealing with that. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, that's like a bronze lobby. And not a good fear, by the way. You can't do that normally at all. Yeah, holy fucking shit. <laughs> literally next to everyone, and no one's looking at her. What the fuck is going on there?
Yikes. That was before we got there. That's pretty ridiculous. That's what you see at Lola Mamar shit. Anna could have shot at her, the soldier could have shot at her, the Ryan could have swung at her. Like, you can't sit that close to the enemy team because there's people that aren't normally capable of shooting you that can just shit on you. Cactus, fuck that cactus. Jack, my old friends, this is going to be delightful. Uh, is he toggling on? Yeah, he has to manage his aim button. Ah. Uh. By the way, guys, uh, aim assist is back on for controllers if they get into our lobbies because they're partnered with PC players. Yeah. And you can't tell if they're controller either, so it's entirely possible that I might report someone that's controller. Before, if you're on controller, you literally couldn't. Uh, you didn't have aim assist when you played with PC players. Now, you don't know. Yep. PC poll. What do you mean? No, or then you have this too. So on voice comms, ask for help from his teammate. I guess. Aerial positioning underway. Over there. I see an enemy. Dude, kill him. Okay, he's dead. I almost died in vain. Uh yeah, if you're so the only way, there's cross-platform play, guys. The only way that you can get into a PC lobby as a uh, council player is if you're playing with friends. You'll get pulled into PC lobbies if you're playing with a council friend. Or a PC friend with a council friend. So you have to have a mixed lobby. And then it'll pull you in. Killed. I love to try and do that, but their DPS insta kills, so. I just died to a cactus. I got trapped in the cactus, guys. Right there. I got stuck in the little cactus corner. 
But if it used to be, if you were grouped with PC players, you wouldn't get aim assist, which I agree with. But then they backpedaled on that, so now if you're in order for uh, quality of life of console players, not giving them access to a keyboard and mouse, rather they just made it so. Uh, Fuck that cactus. I almost got stuck there again. Uh, if you're in a mixed lobby, you get aim assist now on counts or on PC, so. Yeah, if you're in a mixed lobby now, uh, you're going to be placed with PC players and you get aim assist too. Uh, but if you're on PC and you're using a gamepad, you don't get aim assist. But honestly, if you're on console, you should have access to a keyboard and mouse in the first place, so... Yeah, and then that shouldn't even be a question. You should just be switched to keyboard and mouse. I don't know if this is a Sony Microsoft thing or fucking Blizzard just being stupid. And they don't want to lead the way on that. You, the only way you can play with console players is if they're in a lobby with PC, if they're in a group with PC and console players. So if you're in a mixed group, you'll get put into the PC pool. So I can play against console players, but only if they're grouped with someone that's PC. They'll get thrown in with PC lobbies. And then they can get aim assist uh, before they couldn't get aim assist when they're grouped against PC players. Because you know skill. <laughs> and aim assist is not skill. So... I used to be more accommodable, accommodating to aim assist. I don't think it's even an argument anymore. They should just have access to keyboard and mice, and there wouldn't be an argument at all. You can plug a keyboard and mouse into a console, so. The developers have to allow it, though. Well, it doesn't look like we completely fucked up stuff yesterday. I'd even say it feels a little bit better. Not sure how true that is, though. Welcome to the but prior to the patch, you couldn't do that. If you got, if you're grouped with PC players, you got thrown into the PC lobby. And you wouldn't get aim assist, and of course you would be terrible because you're playing on a gamepad, right? <laughs> yeah. Once again, just give give people on console access to keyboard and mouse if they're playing a competitive game. And then just take away aim assist and it'll naturally everyone will just go to keyboard and mouse because it's a better input method. Actually even be an excuse nowadays. It used to be a thing where uh, uh, Microsoft and Sony would not allow it. But nowadays, like, you can, you should be able to use it. As far as everything I've read, the developers just have to enable it for your for the game. This is after I bopped them, right? Didn't get bopped for some reason. Always more to learn. The objective is now
Nice. I do love when people overextend and do super shit. No! God, that's fucking annoying. I was going for so fucking long. I was going for so fucking long. Why the fuck did that? Why the fuck did three of my teammates die to that shit? No. I was in my Q, but I thought I could kill like three of them and reset the push. Didn't happen. No. Fuck you, widow. I can hear your ugly clip clops and how you want to fuck with me. Dude. I'm not with you, fucking Ryan. He has literally two HP, guys. One. She had one HP. Like, I just had to walk in and punch her. I do wonder if uh, the FPS limiter is something I can turn off at some point here. Just let me practice, what? I, pulled them together, you blow them up. I think that's our entire team just left. I'm not Good. Right Slaster four stack. Good. He just tried to grenade me. Aimbop grenade me. And then headshot. It does make me wonder sometimes if people... If people that cheat have like a toggle mode where they can just toggle on all headshots. And then toggle it off. It'd make a lot of sense. I mean, it'd be pretty easy to program instead of toggle, right? She got fucking tired of me peeking. Hilarious. Now! That was a waste. I probably could have killed her normally. Always 
But yeah, you can't tell who's on council, so there's almost no way of knowing if they're on council unless they tell you. I don't think. There might be some way to do it, I'm not sure of. I'm not aware of. Ah, the headshot on the downfall. I see. Pretty sure the wid widow's cheating. All systems nominal. Good shit. On route. Like I'm doing some pretty hardcore dodging here. I knew I could help. Line of sighting. She's gonna headshot me right before the end of the match to make a point. So. Aww. Defeat. Ah, it was the McCree. Good. The. Showing out the the difference between reaction time and their aim stuff, which we saw there at the window on the side, which is why she tried to come up right next to us. She got pissed off at that. Mm-hmm. Say like a light picture or something. The fuck? Just AFK made jerking off? Killers are dead. Good.
The skies await. Aerial positioning underway. You're dead again. Oh, well, everyone's dead again. Looks like an aimbot. Holy <laughs> fucking shit. Oh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> that didn't take long. Who is it? That's the widow? Yeah. Hundred percent cheating. What you'd expect normally. Dude, the fucking Reinhardt's like playing catch with my fucking rockets. It's really annoying. Mercy, why would you ever? Yeah, this guy is hundred percent cheating. Pretty sure, maybe not. Definitely feels that way. That's unfortunate. Leave a man for me. Good. Let's show him some air power. We must unblock the payload. Establishing aerial position. Oh, this is so close to dying too. The soldier. Or the McCree that killed me. Ah, uh, soldier. Or, uh, McCree, uh, Ash. Nope. Uh-huh. It's actually mind-boggling how Ash has Bob. And he's insanely powerful compared to like Torbjorn. Torbjorn lost his turrets. He has his shit like level two turret, but he doesn't have level three turret anymore. Fucker DPS. Oh! Only got two before he could react to that shit. Still insta died though. Returning to battle. Hey, we killed their soldier. We killed their mercy. Ash is throwing fucking 
Dynamite's right on top of me? Good. Oh. Just trying to stay alive, guys. Good. Widow again. Does he shoot feetsies? Let's find out. Oh. And headshot. Body then head. This is the ash. Fuck is okay. She knows there and just I. Oh, Tracer came upstairs to kill me. I guess. Good. And a good time to queue if our team was alive, but our team wasn't alive, so. Heal me, heal me, heal me, I'm a tank, they're ignoring me. Our tank is going deep though, multiple times, so. WQ. Oh. Good. Nice. Heal me. Hit me right now. I'm a tank. I'm a tank doing tank things. Heal me. Ha 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 ha. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Good. Help me right now. I'm a tank. I do so much damage. Don't you see how much damage I do as a tank being a tank? Yeah. Spoiler alert, guys. A tank is now 
one tank instead of two tanks, and they basically made one tank the equivalent of two tanks, so you do a fuckload of damage. Spoilers, by the way, your tank should basically almost always be out DPSing and out of limbing the DPS. Unless something insane's going on. Right back, guys. I'm gonna take a piss and grab a granola. Those DPS tried so fucking hard to kill me, too. It took a lot of pressure off our tank because so they could do really stupid shit. Like run around on their side of the map and basically kill their entire team because they're hyper focusing on me. Good shit, though. Five, four, three, two, one. I think there are a couple other things I can test here, too, guys. This? Yeah. We get, oh, we got the Anna. <laughs> they thought it was safe. They thought it was safe to come through. <laughs> like, they were waiting for that moment that I turned my back. They're like, is he gone? Is he gone? Can I, can I come across now? How long before we see this S76 toggle? Well, there's Echo. The superior Pharaoh. Got me good. All 
systems nominal. On route. My ultimate is charging. Enemy over here. The ash is an ash. It's like next to fucking impossible to shoot a fucking echo. It's like shooting a tracer in the sky, fucking pointless. I really do want to play Echo. I think she's just a better fair at this point. Christ. How many dumplings do you guys eat? No? <laughs> no one's I eat your mom's dumpling every night. Just one more mission. Mm-hmm. Good. Widow. Hmm. No, I can't land a sight that. I thought I could jump up far enough and I couldn't. That's a weird angle. No. Almost land a sight of that. And not land a sight like disappearing, but feetsies, for some strange reason, aimbots do not lock on to your feetsies or your crotch. It just locks onto your chest or chest area. Guys, the fuck they get over here. Shake it off. On route. And this is I have you just right. at full health? I don't know. The game doesn't give you damage numbers. No, I wasn't. I think I got one heal off Anna before I died. Always more to learn. Repositioning. I don't know 
up that is, Widow. Going on with my spawn. What? That was like a two times normal length spawn. No. <laughs> oh, that's when they thought they were safe, but they weren't. No, <laughs> why is it a pot G? I have no fucking idea. Because I bopped an Anna. That he's just literally spamming emotes. He said, uh, "They say chivalry is dead, and uh, I can eat more. I can eat more dumplings than anyone ever has, or something like that." <laughs> Probably bound to a macro where keys are just because you spend half your time as Doomfist doing fuck all, so it kind of makes sense. Very annoying hero. I wish you could look at stats, guys. I really do. You can't see your stats from your fucking last game. I don't know why, but you can't. Someone needs to fill this saddle. I can see my own stats, but without the rest of the team's stats, kind of fucking pointless. Wouldn't want to be comparable to your teammates. <gasps> Kind of curious. I would have liked to see what the how many, what the stats were for that Doomfist. I didn't spend any time shooting him because it's kind of a waste of time shooting tanks most of the time. Especially as Farah, you need a tank buster. Farah's like consistent DPS is pretty low compared to other heroes, especially the tank busters, Bastion, Reaper, Symmetra, even Torbjorn. Sombra, they can just strip their protections off. Like I said, I think uh, we aren't going to be playing Pharah. Maybe we'll play. Well, obviously, going to play Echo, but. Stop talking to me in Japanese. I don't understand Japanese. Why don't developers understand I don't understand Japanese? That's a Hanzo, I think. Really needed a heal. There was a Kiriko and Anna behind me on the right. Who did not heal me? Making another approach. God, I didn't hit it before it spawned. Why the fuck would you do this? Huge waste. 
cast it right on my face. Cool. Shake it off. I guess they were enemies destroyed. God. And bad time to reload. Revenge res. Hey, buddy. Oh, my God, Mercy. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's obnoxious. That was supposed to stay here to push. Would have died. He doesn't have enough shield to outlast my Q. I just landed on top of his E. It's coming down to refuel my jets. Oh. Making another approach. They outnumber us. Keep it tight. Go fucking back there it is. Oh my fucking god. That guy just headshot me, by the way, while he's flying through the air. Yeah, he's 100% cheating. I was, I was going to say it earlier, but at the end there, he literally just started hitting headshots on everyone. No. That's unfortunate.
Sure, what's going on in that game? Next game. When you get psych cyclic backfills, guys, there's like no point in playing that. Is why everyone keeps coming in and leaving? Because the team's already demoralized when they enter the game. That's fucking ridiculous. The first team probably left for a reason, so... Well, less of a point to play that. Esperanza. Mm-hmm. Select your hero. Double headshot, good. One, two, tap. First one hit two. He just shot my chest and hit a headshot on me. Okay, my head's in the game. There's one. First one hit didn't register. Fucking somber creeping around.
A time to fire feels delayed again. I don't know what's going on, guys. Like, it, this starts out good, and then just, like, later on, just our games just kind of feel like it's... It's almost like the game is a memory leak or something. I don't stay down. Good. Like, time to fire from when I push the trigger to when my rockets comes out seems like it changes and gets worse. Like, earlier tonight, we were doing really good at the first game. Now it feels like my aim's fucking squirrely and all over the place. Let's show him some air I could have something to do with my computer too, I don't know. Not far enough down, guys. Lancy 27 MS guys. But you can literally see like I'm trying to shoot a rock into them and just nothing. Maybe you should try to restart my game and see if that does anything. Which would be hilarious. Hey Cubby, long time no see by the way. Died again. That's painful. At least you got a good necromancer who keeps rising you, so you know. Life insurance policy, right? <laughs> Speaking of weird fucking quirky humor, uh Fucking shit. Necromance me, Daddy. <laughs> Seems appropriate. 
What we do in the shadows? That's what it is. What we do in the shadows? Very good. Uh, like sitcom. My aim is totally fucking off now. I can't fucking hit shit. Meanwhile, at the beginning of the beginning of tonight, we had like a 47 and 17 for accuracy. The skies await. My ult, my ult, my They're taking our lead. Stop them. We just got double tapped again. He's 100% cheating. That was the guy earlier, it seemed like he toggled on, and then later on, he's normal, and then he toggled on again at the end. You have to hit like two directs in order to do that, in order to kill her. Been killed by the Baptiste. Am I gonna go back for a while? Yep. Uh, I usually play WoW for about two weeks uh, on expansion launch where I level up, do the do's. The usual stuff. Baptiste might be cheating too. Not. But usually takes about a week, week and a half. I've done every expansion. I've streamed every expansion since it came out. I don't play for a prolonged period of time because the only way you get viewers for World of Warcraft is if people like you're a lifer, like Tali. But yeah, usually uh, level up, do almost all the quests in a zone. Obviously, there's some 100%ers that I don't do. What the fuck's going on? 100%ers I don't do. The... Yep, that's the way that goes. Let's, uh, no. Let's try restarting my game and see if that does anything. First of all, there is a memory leak in the game. Uh, like, it was pretty good. First couple games are very good. Yep, I'll be playing it and usually level up almost 100% zones. We'll do dungeons and then mythics for a little bit, not completely into mythics. And then maybe some PvP, and that usually takes one to one and a half weeks worth of streaming.
After which I'm done <laughs> for the rest of the expansion pack. Voice chat may be recorded to investigate, verify reports of disruptive behavior. Okay. The call may be recorded for quality assurance. Hmm, Pariso. I don't know if that means uh, the game has a memory leak, or maybe there's something with my computer when my processor heats up and gets wonky, or my motherboard or something, I don't know. I've had some weird issues happening with my computer lately, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I've done every expansion pack since I started streaming. Strike from above. It's always the same. Almost no one watches me, so. The only reason I do is because I played World of Warcraft for years, so... I played a lot more when I was younger. Uh, in college? Than I do now. It took, by the way, other streamers forever to realize that no one actually wanted to watch World of Warcraft. Big streamers always get a shitload of viewership from the category. Get a shitload of viewership. That's pretty much it. Lifers. Apparently somehow his line of sight on me. Good. Oh, my feetsy warmer turned off, guys. Oh, no. Fix. Because of the, like I said, Fair is not super amazing on consistent F FPS or DPS guys. So they fucking almost always, unless I hit two directs, and even then, sometimes they'll, they'll teleport on the second missile. You don't fucking get a chance to hit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kill her! Kill her, diva! Okay. I knew I was exposed, but had to. Getting rid of tank, big deal, guys. I don't want to talk about it. Aerial positioning underway. Dude. How the fuck is she still alive? And headshot.
And another headshot. Good. Always more to learn. 30 seconds remaining. That's better. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> uh, good. Let's uh, let's try uncapping my FPS, guys. Normally, it's a bad thing. Maybe it's gotten better since I've done a little bit of tweaking. Maybe my issues have been fixed. Step husband. What? That's where she did. Uh. What are almonds, guys? That was a lovely snack. I feel like we've just been here. Teresa. Strike from above. Why your town failed? Completely uncapped. Definitely makes the mouse feel weird. Or the FPS cap that I was using makes the mouse feel weird. Two. But even though average FPS will be higher, my 1% will be lower. Which is interesting. Bad time to reload, guys. Dude. If four of our team can't fucking kill the goddamn tank... I don't know. Three? Because we had Mercy healing us? I don't know. That's the fucking cheating McCree from earlier. Good. Get McCree grenaded? You fucking shot at me, Mercy! 
It's next to impossible to shoot Mercies if they know what they're doing. Fly better than Pharah. Because of course they can. Everyone can fly better than Pharah. I was chasing the Mercy, the Mercy was chasing the Sojourn, and the Sojourn was chasing me. Yeah. And it feels better. I don't know if it is better. Making my hand cramp, guys. So normally we have 1% uh, of 350, and now we have 1% of 313. 0.1% doesn't really matter because it seems like when you go to your uh, your spawn room... Ah, uh, it fucks it up. Which we didn't really do, so it doesn't really matter. Moira was throwing. We have an average of 519, though. Hmm. Definitely feels weird. I don't understand why. Like, it somewhat feels better and then it feels worse at the same time. GP limited or CP limited? Neither? The fuck? Alright, Blizzard. You make complete sense sometimes. Oh, we're at the 600 FPS gap. There's a widow on her right. Tracer. Oh. One to E. Did I say something meaningful?
Oh, you're talking about uh, consistency across benchmarking? Well, I mean, at, th at 350, it was consistent across maps, so that's pretty good. Uh, the idea of you're looking at, like, accuracy gets further and further down. The confidence you have in your ratings depends on how many data points you have, and it can account for variability. Uh, 0.1% definitely gets fucked up by the spawning process, so that's not really applicable. Unfortunately, if, that's why I was trying to look at one point to change it to 0.2%, and we couldn't find a way of doing that, or even 0.3. It wouldn't matter. Depending on the game, 0.1% could be alright. Like in Heroes of the Storm, it works out pretty well. Close. got separated from me, I got separated from team. Pretty sure our friend here is cheating now. Good. Let's show him some air. Good, good, good. Positioning. Meteor strike is charging. <laughs> Almost. Mm -hmm. What do I want for dinner, guys? I think I'm gonna have some fish. I'm gonna make some fishies. Tracer is very, very annoying with her damage fall off bug.
over there still. She's probably gonna fucking harass the Mercy when she respawns. Not. Good. But yeah, look how much lower my 1% is. And I'm still at 515 average FPS. What the fuck just happened to me? I just, I guess I had like 6 HP and she just hit me with a tick. Are we the ones that have to push or do they do? I think they do. No, we're the ones that have to push. Do they have to push? I don't know. Mercy's way the fuck back there, guys. I really feel like I shouldn't leave right now. Might if I die. Hey guys, don't mind me. <laughs> we might try the other uh, FPS limiters again. Even though the 1% is higher with RTSS, we might just keep it. I hear your fucking fucking footsteps, McCree, creeping up on me. Aimbot grenade in hand. Be like, clack, 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 clack. There you are. <laughs> Nothing to do with him actually trying to shoot me. Yeah. Literally just aimbot grenade sneaking up on you. I'm pretty sure the Tracer is cheating, but I'm not sure. I was pretty sure. So, just because you have an aimbot doesn't mean it'll hard stick to you. Sometimes it's more realistic, depending... Like, uh, some of the better ones are bone mesh aimbots, will just basically crawl around different points on your body. And it looks really weird because it basically draws a rectangle around you. It looked like the Tracer just had a really... Like, it was locked to, like, the rectangle of your body. But not, like, your chest. 
Uh, let's turn on our FPS limiter again. We're gonna do 360, I guess. Uh, non RTSS. See what happens here. Yep. I wouldn't be so against... Like, just like with Sojourn, like, they did some really unsavory things to some of the characters. There is always room for improvement. Very red. It's very saturated. the world by following all the rules. Gun. <laughs> Good. So our 1% is actually worse than when it's uncapped from the looks of it. When it's uncapped, it's like 260, right? And with RTSS, it's capped to like 350. So consistency is even worse. Like, how good the game feels might not even be related to FPS. It's a fucking weird thing to say, because it's almost always related to FPS.
It's kind of weird to have a cube, guys, and not feeling empowered by having it, but that's basically playing Farah in a nutshell. Maybe I can do something with it eventually, maybe. Oh, yeah? What? Player tank's dead, so that's basically win. Good. Yeah. Just to fair, fair things, guys. You have a Q, but you can't use it because you'll die instantly. So you look for maybe a spot where you can use it. Maybe kill a tank, which we did, and it still didn't matter for some reason. Yes. Oh my god. He's out of his juice. Good. Like that feels better than RTSs. I don't know why. Oh, it is capped, but it. So the FPS caps are not perfect. The only one that's perfect is uh, the RTSs frame rate cap. They feel different. The Nvidia control weight cap in-game cap limiter and then the FPS or the RTSS cap which is Reva Tuner in the top right here uh, which also shows my stat readout they all feel different and they interact slightly differently the only one that will actually cap your FPS so you won't ever go over like uh, your cap is RTSS uh, the Nvidia one and the built-in one have a lot of variability look at like max here's 791 and that's leading to our 1% looking kind of shitty too which is weird uh, and then uncapped is giving me higher 1% from the looks of it. RTSS will cap, I'm capped at 360 right now. RTSS will almost cap at like 350 to 355 on 1%, which is insanely good. Uh, but they all have different, like they feel different when you use them. And then on top of that, like uh, there's different input lag too. And there's an article by Battle Nonsense, but that's like five years old at this point. Overwatch 2 is like a completely different beast from the feel of it. You just gotta feel stuff out. It is messy. This game engine is... Com I've spent the last two weeks trying to figure out what the fuck's wrong with this game. You know where your aim feels weird and floaty and... It's almost like it's getting repelled by different players or tractored to players. It's fucking weird. A lot of people think it's like dynamic difficulty adjustment, which it might be DDA. Dynamic difficulty adjustment. If you guys don't know what dynamic difficulty adjustment is, it's where the game will... Uh, dynamically adjust your ability to kill people based on how good you're doing or not doing so you have fun which is a horrible thing for a competitive game to have but there's rumors and tinfoil hat flowing in around about that but sometimes it feels that way uh yeah there's some things you can do to fix that like we're all the way past that at this point uh 0.1% 1% will generally show you the weird drops like aim assist, yes. It'll do things like either make it so your aim is aim assisted to the target or repel it. So you try to flick to the target and then your like blizzard will slow down your aim so you don't get to the target in time and fuck up your, and fuck up your uh, uh, flick. So it can make you better or it can make you worse dynamically in real time and there'd be absolutely no fucking way you'd be able to figure it out. You'd just be like, what the fuck's wrong with this game? Why does my aim feel so weird? Which is what everyone's doing right now. But yeah, uh, the FPS drops can be caused by a lot of things. This will help with the FPS drops, by the way. Um, shit, dude, I've changed so much fucking stuff with my computer at this point. Trying to fucking figure out the stuff in the game. An uh, FPS cap will help immensely with the drops you're feeling. 
uh, for the most part. Uh, you should cap well below your FPS, even if you can get like, I was getting like, what, 510 FPS? And I'm capped to 360, and my 1% is almost half of my capped FPS, which is really bad. Yeah, you have to turn, there's, uh, there's guides if you Google it, like, uh, FPS drops in Overwatch, there's some basic stuff you can do. There's some options that got turned on that makes things really chunky. Turning textures on low, in my opinion, helped a lot. I think there's some weird shit with texture streaming that's fucking things up. Cause issues. And I shouldn't need to turn my textures on low at all because it basically doesn't influence your FPS at all. This guy's cheating. Yeah. That's an aim bot. as we went through the door, guys. That, that'll that also happen. So I mentioned earlier that 0.1% is completely unreliable in this game because it will... Hey, okay, dude. Because when you die, it drops your FPS, but spawn room FPS doesn't matter, right? Yeah, and it's tough when you're that low on FPS, it's tough to kind of play around with shit. Because it's basically all FPS matters, right? At that point. You can do things like, uh... Use FSR, uh, reduce the render scale. Look like shit, but it'll play well. That's kind of a different ballpark when you're that low in FPS, though. Like you're just trying to get every little bit you can. All systems Using a laptop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then sometimes, depending on how shitty the cooling solution is in your laptop... Bye. I'm not even fucking playing around with that guy. Knows I'm there. Oh, I'm gonna kill your fucking team while you're doing that. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Yeah, uh, the best you can do with, uh, I mean, laptops are, basically, it's a shit show. Some will have good coolers and some won't. The best you can do with it is get, like, a laptop cooling pad, so you don't throttle. No, she's almost dead. I thought I was up high enough, but I wasn't. 86. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, you can get a cooling pad for them, that does help, but at the end of the day, you're basically bitched to uh, whatever cooling solution your manufacturer put in it, and some aren't very good at it. Fortunate, and then, so even if you switch, like you're using your discrete graphics card in your laptop, more than likely as two. Another thing you have to look for is make sure it's using a discrete graphics card. 
um, is even if you're using discreet, it gets too hot, and then it's going to start throttling, and then you get shit performance, and then it starts stuttering and shit. We're actually doing good on accuracy, by the way. I have a 2080. I haven't upgraded in forever. I was talking about this. I'm a big tech guy, and I haven't upgraded in forever because I haven't needed to. Oh, they create or er, Lucio in. Uh, putting the crypto rush in, which drove up prices, drove up prices, and uh, not really needing one. I haven't had a reason to upgrade. Processors, on the other hand, CPUs are pretty fucking fantastic. CPUs, uh, Ryzen, AMD just absolutely pushed the envelope and forced Intel to actually try, which has led to a lot of really cool performances in CPUs. Uh, performance increases in CPUs. Uh, probably going to upgrade to the 7000 Series X3D when that becomes available. I can hear your, your creepy skates. Lucio. You don't want to hang out on our side of the bridge? She doesn't want to land on our side. Ha 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 Trying to drop shot me. I need healing. Thank you. <laughs> oh. And just bopped him off the edge. Very certain the fucking McCree, he's now McCree, is cheating. This guy from earlier. It is. It's it's that way for fucking everyone. There's all sorts of posts on the forum if you want to go look at them. Uh, forum, Reddit, discussing it. There's certain things you can do to change things. Apparently, like... Uh, the game will inherit some uh, sensitivity from controllers. Oh, buddy. We're not going to make sure he can test. Yeah, Hanzo would be... So, putting aside the aiming is fucking off as shit, projectile heroes have gone it uh, from over 1 to Overwatch 2. There's definitely a lot of people that say projectiles and just stuff in general feels a lot worse. Projectile heroes got it especially bad, so I call it time to uh, time to fire. So when you push the button, tell when a projectile comes out of your gun is longer than it used to be, and that is very detrimental if you're a projectile hero, right? So, yeah, you you get extra fuckered. Hansel has to be especially bad because you're like really uh, prone to flicking, right? You have to flick on to where someone's gonna be, and if you can't flick uh, consistently, then it's gonna make things horrible for you. Absolutely terrible. No. Yeah. It feels like everything, it feels like your projectiles are slower too. It's not just, it's not just uh, the time to fire. It feels like your projectiles themselves move slower than they used to. It feels like people move faster. And obviously there's a passive in the game now, so that's part of it. Yeah, it feels like your projectors are slower, doesn't it? It makes perfect sense when you hear someone see it and you think about Overwatch 1 to Overwatch 2. It feels... Torbjorn is especially bad. You basically have to fucking just... You just... It's just RNG. You just have to RNG into line of sight of where you think someone's going to be. And pray that you hit them. And sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't.
Yeah, and then they changed the art style too, so everything's really dark and shiny now. Like, look how dark Tarbjorn got. It's impossible to fucking tell people apart, which is a big part of the game, by the way, is you're supposed to be able to, uh... Target acquisition, being able to... Hey, buddy. No? Yeah, they did a number on it. So at some part, like you have to, re <laughs> at some part you have to realize that like they have to try and make it different, right? Overwatch 2 is one of the biggest mistakes Blizzard made, and I don't mean that because uh, Overwatch is a bad game, but rather they took like three years of content and just decided that they weren't gonna release anything, and then just release basically something slightly different. That they're like, hey guys, look at this. And all they really had to do is switch the microtransaction system if they wanted to. They could have kept Overwatch 1, you know, uh, uh, they could have kept using the name and it would have mattered. Let's see, and then we have our cheater here. It's this guy. Lots of people cheated this game. Good. That was the soldier last game that I mentioned a couple times when we were talking. Also, cheating is much more common in OW2 than it was in OW1 for some reason. And by the way, we aren't playing like, uh, I used to play in Masters and GM. I'm not a GM and Master anymore because I never played since Overwatch 1, so I got deranked to gold and plat in quick play because we're playing quick play right now. I got deranked to Golden Plat, so we're basically playing against Golden Plats right now. Who have perfect aim? Well, some of them have perfect aim. Yeah. I don't really talk much about it. Like I'll report people who think they're cheating. I'll talk about it a little bit, but like I don't say you're an obsess and go over clips and shit because that's not my job. You have some poor depressed geek that eats his serotonin and dopamine and he's willing to pay ten dollars a month to do so. So. Trying to dodge the Pharah, and then eventually that guy's gonna come back. Already. 
returning to battle. On the move. Enemy over here. Really need that med kit. He knows it. I'm surrounded by two healers right now, by the way. You got an amateur Pharah who's trying to shoot me. There's no point in shooting another Pharah, by the way. Because uh, you can dodge like 95% of the rocks. Eventually, I'll die to her. But I can dodge like 95% of the rocks and it ties up two of their teammates the Pharah and then the Mercy who's healing the Pharah. But it looks like she's not heal body anymore. I was hoping I could get two there. We might have another cheating soldier, guys. Yeah. By the way, ulting a Pharah is also a terrible idea. It's just that she happens to be near the ground and she's a warm body, so. Thought I could get two. Eventually, they usually figure out that you're not shooting at them. And then when they let their guard down, you kill them. Because they'll usually get near the ground or think you're not paying attention to them when you are. You try. You try, but dodging is literally half a plain Pharah. And Pharah's honestly just a shitty echo at this point, so. My reason I'm playing her a lot right now is because she's a character I have the most playtime on, and I know how she feels, so when we change stuff like FPS limiters and such, I could get a good feel of her. She's a projectile hero, too. But there's totally better heroes to play now than Terra. Like Echo. She doesn't fly good enough. Fly, and then you still have to land. You don't. You can't hover forever like you used to be able to, and you have to wait two seconds to use your jets again. God, Reinhardt. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Okay, he's dead. Sombra is a very powerful character, even after she's nerfed. Basically, the fact that no one has CC is a really big deal. Uh huh? I run into that one. We have another DPS here. I have no idea what the fuck she's doing. I also don't have any idea what our, our healers are doing right now. Soldier shooting at me. He's trying. He's trying his best, guys. No. On. That's maybe we'll just go to the back point and tractor them over here. Try. I said I'm very certain that he's cheating. Just makes things worse for us, so. Time to kick some tail. Repositioning. 
You gotta hit her. If there's no one actually... No one contesting her at all. Our tank's suicidal. I don't even know where our healers are. That looked normal. But let's see. All systems nominal. Score one to one. No one's a natural. We all have to put in the work. We're still missing a healer, guys. Cost ten dollars. We can do this if we fight hard and smart. You might also be cheating. <laughs> Putting that aside. It's not going to give her straight trajectories, which means she has to can't lead me properly. Even if her shots are perfectly led, they aren't going to connect. So, hi, Reser Mercy. Fuck out of here. And there is the E. Haha. Uh -huh. Good. And by the way, uh, projectile aimbots are do exist for sure. Especially you can see one with the Hanzo has one. They're fucking weird as shit to look at. This game's a mess. We should really leave at this point. If you see Hanzo use one in like your 80s staf strafing in a Curical alt, it looks fucked up as shit. Aimbot soldier again. Now I was gonna go try and boop the Lucio. I'm pretty sure he's on the, the walls in the well. Someone's on the walls in the well. Is a Kiriko that ulted out. We only died to Pharaoh like once, so we can't really uh, look at Pharaoh, unfortunately. Good. All things considered, didn't do super horrible. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. Don't, by the way, don't talk about names of cheats. Like, the brand name of cheats, don't do that. Like, I talk about cheats, uh, the types of cheats, and... Maybe the vicinity of cheats, but I won't mention brand names, because people don't need help cheating, so... You can use Google to find... readily available information, I guess. Yeah. A lot of the cheats aren't even English, by the way. If you uh, spend time looking for cheats, the better ones are basically where there's a lot of them is in China, and you have to know how to use the Chinese marketplaces. I think it's called uh, Taobong. Taobong. And it is an absolute mess. They don't name them like aimbots or stuff like that. They call them like, 
like automated helpers or things like that. Aim aim helpers. Yeah, you're fine. Good. Well, that was fun. I enjoyed that. Also, pretty sure the fair was cheating, but not sure on that. Once again, if it's perfectly led, all you have to do is do like maybe like a circular shape and they won't be able to hit you at all. There's too much lead time unless they get right on top of you, so you just maintain distance and they can't do that. You go on and play training, guys, and training feels absolutely phenomenal. And then you play a game, and it feels like shit. Yeah, good stuff. Good, good, good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please. I was GM at one point. That was an Overwatch 1. Like I said, I'm pretty sure Farrah Fer needs retired. My Farrah needs to be retired at this point. There's better heroes to play. Right now, you basically need to play something like a Tank Buster, Bastion, Reaper, Symmetra, even Torbjorn maybe a little bit. Because tanks walk all over your team. Who I'm going to be playing right now. No stress? Could be. It could be performance anxiety. That's what you're talking about. Can't perform anymore, guys, especially while being watched. <laughs> hey. oh, oh, I missed. That's what she said. God. In sports, it's called performance anxiety. Where you're unable to perform on the cart because of stress. On the court, for instance, for basketball. Because of stress related. It applies very much to esports, too. But esports in general is pretty far behind sports in general. Like stuff that's commonplace, they just don't even talk about. Like, same thing with str strategy. They're getting, like, fucking coaches that are literally just people that played the game before and that maybe have, like, one tournament under the belt. When they could actually probably use a uh, coach or something from football, they would be able to make us a, a playbooks up. And they'd be a lot better off. Or strategy in general. Like how you approach objectives, what you're doing. But it. What about messing with my head? There's another. But one of the things that definitely really hurts this game is the dark art style. The shadows, the HDR effects, not HDR monitors, the HDR effects on your screen. They added a lot of visual shit that causes clutter on your screen and makes it very hard to see what you're aiming at. Which is fucking obnoxious. All in the case of making it look slightly different for OverW2. It's like she heard me say that. Well, I, yeah, I mean, 
this game isn't supposed to be a game where it's like, ooh, this is so immersive because of the colors and the shading and shit. You're playing this game to try and be competitive at the utmost level with other players. Not trying to figure out if this blob on your screen that eventually everything turns into is a Symmetra or if it's the fucking Junker Queen who looks like basically a giant DPS. Because she's not blocky or normal. Like, uh... Stands out. She's just a giant tall silhouette that looks like Reaper. Or Sombra. Not Sombra, uh... Ash. Maybe not Ash. Ash is kind of like Squat. She looks a lot like Reaper. Yeah. It's just the shading isn't even anything to do with how the, the textures on the characters either. It's a fucking, uh... Cheating. Was she playing Ash in the first round? Eat off and one for the med kit. But yeah, it's not just the. It's not like the textures. It's like an effect they add to the char character. Uh, post processing, they add the, the stuff in the game to make it look like night and day. Oh my god, Mercy. Wow! How the fuck did that hit me through the fucking tank? Dude! I swear to god, the tank should have taken that. I don't know about that. Uh, after Kaplan left, it seems like they have a lot of cooks in the kitchen, and when you have a lot of cooks in the kitchen, you can't accomplish anything, so... It sounds great, but in actuality, in practice, it's actually terrible. Yes. But you think, like, having more talented minds is a good thing, which it generally is, but when they, like, it all just becomes about who's in control of shit, then nothing gets done. Lots of scenes for it. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Uh, too many queen bees. Not enough workers. Too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Native Americans. The problem oldest time itself. Luckily, she didn't laser beam me. So something interesting about Torb Turrets is if you hit it when it's spawning, it doesn't get full HP. It stops gaining HP. It's kind of weird. Makes it much easier to kill the turrets, though. Yeah. I don't think it's a bug. I think that's intentional. 
but Torb, Torb doesn't need nerfs, so... Yeah. Torb as he is now is not what old Torb used to be. Be able to make this. Uh, I, I was hoping they'd survive long enough for me to Q. What the fuck was that? I don't want to talk about it. Motherfucker. Well, you have to kill that right away because it's basically like having like an aimbot hit scan just sitting there to shoot me. And she threw it on top of me. Didn't do horrible. OP equals overpowered? Yeah. People call it overtuned now and I don't know why. They changed it from being overpowered to overtuned. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Uh, we're going to fuck around with our uh, FPS limiter, I guess. We did this already. Fuck around with my FPS limiter again tomorrow. Uh, I'm out here for this evening, though, guys. So I got to go get some dinner. Eat some din din. Probably going to have some fish. Fish and veggies. Uh, but tomorrow, guys, we'll be more W2. We'll continue our tweaking. Uh, there's a lot of things we've done since I started playing the game, and it looks like we have to go basically full circle back to stuff I did at the beginning. Because it feels different now, so... Yeah, that's where we're at, guys. Uh, overall, I think we did, we're did. we in a better spot as far as... Our performance goes, it feels more consistent, which is good. Now we did poop on, that was with the aimbot. There's another... We did all right in that match, that's with uh, another aimbot. A lot of this, even if I have, I tend to spam rockets a lot, so my accuracy tends to go down a lot. But even then, it tends to be relatively consistent. Remember where I turned down my FPS limiter? I think it was on Li Zhang, so it's too far back. Like here? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Anyways, I'm out here for this evening, guys. Tomorrow will be more OW2. We'll continue with our tweaking, I guess. This was supposed to take, a, like, maybe a week, and we're on, like, three weeks of this shit. It just keeps getting weirder and weirder, guys, so... Uh, as you guys have seen on stream, if you've been watching me, so, uh, I'm out here for this evening, guys. If you're new to the stream, you enjoyed the bullshit, you enjoyed the fun, you enjoy the cheaters, make sure to follow up in the top right-hand corner. I use stream every day from evening to late night, GMT minus 6, so 8 to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time to 1 to 2 a.m., give or take. Depends what's going on in my life, what's happening, etc., etc., guys. Tomorrow will be more of the OWs, though. But anyways, guys, I'm out here for this evening, guys. Thanks for watching my stream, as always, and I hope you guys have a wonderfully fantastic... Uh, Friday night and Saturday morning. Have a good day, guys.